food service is going high tech this morning in the shadow of Silicon Valley. San Francisco is home to a futuristic eatery with a virtual cashier putting change on the menu. John Blackstone shows us what's cooking. At the new San Francisco restaurant called Itza, don't look for servers or cashiers. They've been replaced by touch screens. You order and pay on a tablet. It's terrific for those of us who are anti-social. You don't have to actually talk to a person, just swipe your, why do you swipe your card? For those who are not tech challenged, it works pretty easily. Your food then miraculously appears behind another screen with your name on it. I don't know what goes on behind there. It's like a black magic room. Tim Young knows what goes on back there. He's co-founder and CEO of Itza. It is a proprietary system, but there are absolutely people back there. But really, it's all about using technology to make their jobs more efficient. The menu is totally vegetarian. Eats's goal is to make healthy food more accessible using technology. They serve plenty of quinoa. It's vegetarian, you're trying to get people to eat seeds. <laughs> it is a lot more than seeds, and quite frankly, I think our food stands on its own. I mean, it is a mixture of a lot of different ingredients that come together to make a really, really flavorful profile. Some friends of mine that are, are, are avowed carnivores uh, swear they will never set foot in the place, but, you know, they're the ones with the heart problems, too. <laughs> to some, Itza looks vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the Automat, very popular in New York City in the 50s. Back then, the automat seemed to be the height of technology, but you could still see humans on the other side of the door. Connie, you know you're the first face that smiled at me today. We've heard people compare us to the automat. It makes sense. I can see the similarities. Um, but their food was not made to order and or fresh. That food was prepackaged food. And that's a fundamental difference between what we're doing. Itza is not alone in replacing humans with touch screens. McDonald's and Panera are among others in the food business bringing more automation to their stores. But a larger shift in that direction could affect millions of fast food workers. This is going to put a lot of people out of work? It's not putting anyone out of work. It's making their jobs more efficient and more enjoyable, I like to think. There could be a shift in the type of jobs associated with the restaurant industry at the disadvantage of the people who typically work in these restaurants. Itza already has plans to expand to other cities. The early crowds are promising. But Eats's model will test whether fast food consumers have an appetite for change. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, San Francisco. I could see where people would like this. I still like being able to talk to somebody. How do I tell the Eats of people, we want more avocado? How do you do that? <laughs> well, they would Just say, I guess, instance. probably, oh, yeah. you mean like after you've gotten yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. Right. I like the technology. It's yeah. really I do cool. Too. Yeah, but there's that avocado problem. Yes. Yes. Well, and also, I just, isn't there something about the interaction of humans that's worth saving? Well, some people aren't as friendly as us, Nora. <laughs> some people are <laughs> antisocial. <laughs> just that's saying. Right. That's exactly right, Gail. <laughs>